Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 14th lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called sequences and series. So we are looking at our ninth example on geometric progression, which is a past case equation tested in 2023, paper 2, question number 17. It reads that the first term of an AP is A and the common difference is D. The seventh term of the AP is 11. Then the sum of the first 12 consecutive terms of the AP is 123. But A Roman 1 of the question, we are required uh, to form uh, two simplified equations involving A and D to represent the information. So we'll start from the first part. We are told that uh, the first term of the AP is A and of course the common difference is D. The seventh term of the AP is 11. So... Uh, we know that the nth term of any uh, given uh, arithmetic progression is always given by the formula uh, A, then of course plus N minus 1, then multiplied by uh, D. Then you are being told that the seventh term of this particular uh, AP is actually 11. The seventh term is 11. Now we know that the seventh term uh, will be given by the formula. So we take A, then of course plus uh, 7 minus 1, then we multiply with D, that this particular seventh term is equivalent to 11. Therefore, if I simplify, I'll have A, then of course plus 7 minus 1, I'll get 6, then of course multiplied by D, being equal to a positive 11. Therefore, this will be the first required equation. Then you are further told that the sum of the first 12 terms, that is 12 consecutive terms of the AP is 123. Now, we know that the sum of uh, terms of an AP is always given by the formula, uh, that is n over 2, then of course into bracket uh, 2a, then of course plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by d, then we close the larger uh, bracket. Therefore, we are told that uh, the sum of the first 12 terms, uh, that is 12 consecutive terms of the AP is 123. Therefore, if we get S12, uh, which is the sum of the first uh, 12 consecutive terms of this particular AP, it should give us, so the n will be 12, then of course divided by 2, uh, then into bracket, we multiply with 2, uh, multiplied by A, which is the first term, then of course plus uh, n, n will be 12, then minus 1, then we multiply with a D, which is our common difference. We are told that the sum of the first 12 terms is 123. Therefore, this formula must be equal to 123. If I simplify uh, 12 over 2, I'm going to get positive uh, 6. Then into bracket uh, 2a, then of course a uh, plus 12 minus 1, I'll get 11. Then I multiply with d. Then the whole of this should give me uh, 123. Then... Uh, I'm simply going to open the bracket so that I end up with a 12a, then of course plus a 6 multiplied by 11. I'm going to get a positive 66, a d being equal to 123. Therefore, this will be our equation Roman 2. Therefore, these are the two equations of this particular. That is, these are the two uh, we are we were told to form two uh, simplified equations uh, uh, to represent uh, the information above. Therefore, these are our two equations. That is equation Roman 1 and Roman 2. Then now uh, we want to move to part B. Uh, that is uh, part A Roman 2 of the question. So in A Roman 2, in A Roman 2, we are being asked to find the values of A and D. So, of course, to achieve that, I'm simply going to solve uh, the first equation and the second equation uh, simultaneously. So, this was our equation 1. Then, this was equation Roman 2. So, I'll solve equation 1, which is uh, A. Then, of course, plus uh, 6D, which is equals to 11. Uh, then, uh, equation 2. Equation 2 is here. So, this is uh, 12A. Then, of course, uh, we are adding uh, 66 uh, D. Then uh, this one is supposed to give us 123. So this is equals to 123. So we can solve this using elimination method. The easiest way uh, is to eliminate A. So for us to eliminate A, uh, of course, the coefficient here is 1. So I'll multiply the first equation with that 12. 
Then the second equation with the coefficient of a, which is 1, so that I can eliminate a. So I'll end up with uh, the following. So 12 multiplied by a, I'm going to get positive uh, 12a. Then of course plus uh, 12 multiplied uh, by 6, I'm going to get positive 72d uh, being equal to uh, 11 multiplied by uh, 12. Uh, we are going to get 100 and uh, 32. So this is 132. Then uh, 12 multiplied by 1, I'll, I'll just get uh, 12a. Then of course plus 66 by 1, I'll get 66d being equal to 123. So I'll subtract the two equations so that uh, a can uh, give us 0 or can get eliminated. Then of course uh, positive 72 minus uh, 66. This one is going to give us a uh, 6d so this will be plus uh, 6d uh, which will be equal to 132 minus 123 i'm going to get positive 9 so if 6d is equals to 9 if i divide through by 6 i divide through by 6 uh, this one is going to give me uh, that is by 3 2 uh, by 3 uh, 3 so that means the value of d will actually be equal to uh, 1.5 or uh, 3 over 2 so 1.5 or uh, one whole number, one over a uh, three, or simply a uh, three over two. So that is our common uh, difference. Remember, we were required to find uh, the common difference uh, uh, as well as uh, what we are calling the uh, first term A. So we have the D, so we need to find A. So for us to find the first term, I'm going to substitute the value of D in my equation Roman 1. So I'm going to say that uh, substituting substituting uh, d is equals to 1.5 in equation roman 1 i'm going to get the following so remember equation roman 1 was uh, this one here it was uh, a then of course plus a uh, 6d was equals to 11 so this will be a then plus a uh, 6 into d is uh, 1.5 uh, then this one should give us 11 so a plus 6 multiplied by 1.5 i'm going to get uh, my answer to be a uh, positive 9 so 6 by 1.5 i'll get positive 9 uh, which is equals to 11 so that means a will be uh, 11 minus 9 of course the value of a is going to give us a positive 2 therefore our first term a is 2 then the common difference is 1.5 so we've answered uh, a roman 2 of the question then um, we are going to proceed to that is a uh, roman 3 that is a uh, for part b a uh, roman 1 of the question so in part b so we look at uh, part b roman 1 before i do that let me just transfer my answers so the equations here the values of a and d my a i got it as a uh, positive 2 then my d uh, was equal to a uh, 1 point uh, 5 i'm just indicating them so that uh, maybe if I need it in the later stages, I'll, I'll be in a position to just extract. So in B Roman 1, we are told that the first, the third, and the eighth terms of an AP form the first three consecutive terms of the GP. So in Roman 1, we are required to calculate the sixth term of this particular uh, GP. Therefore, I'm simply going to find uh, the terms that I'm being told here. We know that uh, for any given uh, arithmetic progression uh, the nth term uh, will be given by of course a plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by uh, d so we are told that the first the third and the eighth terms of an ap so of course the first term uh, is just equal to a but of course we have already computed the value of a which is 2 then the the first and the third term so the third term the third term of the ap uh, will be given by so we'll have a, then of course plus a 3 minus 1 multiplied by d. But because you already have the values of a and d, uh, our value of a of course is uh, 2, then plus uh, 3 minus 1 multiplied by d. Our common difference, we had found it to be 1.5. So this is 1.5. So this will uh, simplify to uh, 2, then of course plus uh, 2, that is 3 minus 1, will get 2 multiplied by 1.5 let me clean uh, this particular area so that i can use it to complete my working 
So uh, we are going to end up with uh, the following. Uh, so this one is going to give us the following. So the third term will be given by uh, the third term of the AP uh, will give us. So this one will be 2. Then of course plus 2 multiplied by uh, 1.5. Uh, it will give us positive uh, 3. Uh, yeah, 2 by 1.5 will get a uh, positive 3. So that means our third term is 2 plus 3, which is equals to 5. Then we are also told the eighth term. So the eighth term of the AP uh, will be given by, of course, we'll have A plus 8 minus 1 multiplied by D. But uh, the first term was actually positive 2. So we have 2, then of course, plus uh, 8 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference was 1.5 uh, yeah it was 1.5 so this will give us a uh, positive 2 plus 8 minus 1 will get 7 multiplied by 1.5 which will give us a 2 then plus 7 multiplied by 1.5 will get positive uh, 10 uh, point 0.5 this will give us a uh, 10.5 then of course 2 plus 10.5 you're going to get positive a uh, 12 point five therefore this is the eighth term of this particular gp then you are told that the first third and eighth terms of an ap they form the first three consecutive terms of the gp therefore it means that this will be the first term of the gp then of course the third term will be uh, the second term of the gp then the eighth term will be the third term of this particular uh, gp so we are told to calculate the sixth uh, term of this particular GP. Now we know that uh, the nth term of any given uh, GP is always given by the formula AR uh, to the power of n minus 1. So to find the sixth term, we need to have the first term and of course the uh, common ratio. We already have the first term, uh, which is 2. So what we just need to work out is what we call the uh, common uh, ratio of this particular uh, GP. So to find the common ratio, this is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to arrange the terms of this particular GP. So the terms of the GP, they include, so the GP, the terms of the GP are, the first term of course is uh, 2. So the first term is 2. Then the second term of the GP, uh, the second term is uh, positive 5. Uh, we have it here. Then the third term of this particular GP is uh, 12.5 therefore for us to get the common ratio we'll simply take the term ahead which is 5 divided by the previous term which is 2 which should be equal to uh, the term ahead which is 12.5 then of course divided by uh, 5 now this one means that our common ratio will be 5 over 2 will give you 2.5 remember similarly 12.5 divided by 5 you are still going to get a 2.5 as our common ratio now remember the first term we got it as positive 2 yeah it is still here therefore if we want to get the uh, sixth term of this particular uh, gp we are going to have the following we'll substitute it here so the sixth term of the gp uh, will be given by a of course a is 2 into r the common ratio we found it to be 2.5 then to the power of 6 minus 1 so this will be a 2 then uh, uh, into bracket 2.5 to the power of uh, 6 minus 1 will get uh, the power of uh, 5. So this will give us, if you compute this on your calculator, 2 multiplied by 2.5 power 5, you'll get the answer as 195, 195, then point, uh, 3125. 195.3125. Therefore, this is the sixth term of this particular uh, geometric progression. Then we move to B uh, Roman 2 of the question. So in B Roman 2, we are being asked to find uh, the following. Find the sum of the first six terms of the GP. So uh, Sn of any given uh, GP, we need first of all to look at the common ratio. So our common ratio is uh, 2.5. Uh, clearly you can see that. 2.5 is far much greater than a 1. Therefore, our common ratio is greater than 1. That means the formula that we are going to use for Sn will actually be given by the following. So this will be when r is greater than 1, we are going to have a into 
uh, r to the power of n, then minus 1, then the whole thing divided by r minus 1. So when I substitute uh, for s uh, 6, that is the first 6 terms, I'll have a, which is the first term, which is 2, into my r is uh, 2.5, then to the power of n, n is 6, then minus 1, close the bracket, divided by r minus 1, which is 2.5, then minus 1. So this will give me a 2 uh, divided by 2.5 minus 1. I'm going to get a 1.5. Then into bracket, a 2.5 to the power of 6, then minus 1. So if you feed this on your calculator, you're going to get the answer as 324. Then of course, a point 18.70. Uh, five. So this is the sum of the first uh, six terms of this particular GP. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.